Andrew, tell me one thing. Is you a Democrat or is you a Republican? Well, I was a Democrat. Uh-huh. But I believe I have done switched over to the Republicans now. Uh, who is the man that is running against each other this year election time? Explain that to me. Herbert Hoover, Vesuvius Al Smith. Herbert Hoover, Vesuvius Al Smith, huh? Yeah. Another thing I want to ask you. What is the difference between a Democrat and a Republican? Well, one of them is a mule and the other one is an elephant. That's the way I get it. Uh-huh. I, I don't know if I was going to be a Democrat or a Republican, you know it. Well, what was your ancestors? My aunt didn't have no sisters. No, no, not your aunt's sisters, your ancestors. I mean, uh, how did your old man vote? Oh, my papa, you mean? Yeah, that's it. Oh, papa used to always vote for the uh, Democrats. Well, then if I was in your place, I would vote for the Republicans. How come? Because I ain't never know your old man to do nothing right in his life. Wait a minute now, wait a minute. Don't say no more about him now. Well, on the other hand, though, I believe you ought to vote for the Democrats because you look more like a mule than anything I know. Well, I'm willing to be whichever is the best one. I don't care. I'm willing to be either one. Well, then, let's be Democrats and vote for Herbert Hoover. Wait a minute, though. Wait a minute. Uh, what is he? Uh, Herbert Hoover is a Democrat, ain't he? He was a Democrat. Maybe he done changed over. I believe you got that wrong, ain't you? Yeah, that's right. Uh, Hoover is a Republican. But if you like Hoover, you can still vote for him and be a Democrat. Well, tell me this. I'm going to ask you another question here. What's that? Uh, how do you know who to vote for? That's the thing. That, that, that's the question right there now. Look up the record. Look at President Cooley. What did he do during his admiration? He's been fishing most of the time, ain't he? Listen, Coolidge is a Republican. And for the last four years or so, he has done had Hoover locked up waiting to put him in office. What do you mean he done had Hoover locked up? Well, I was reading in the paper right after Hoover was nominated that uh, Coolidge was getting ready to take Hoover out the cabinet. He better get out and get some fresh air if he's going to be president, I tell you that. You know, uh, I had a dream last night about the election. What did you dream? Explain it to me. Well, I dreamed that I saw the White House. Uh-huh. Thousands of people were standing out in the front. And I looked and I saw a man coming right in the White House. It was Al Smith. It was after the election and... Uh, there was Al Smith walking right in the White House. Mm-mm. Al Smith walking right in the White House, huh? Yeah. Herbert Hoover sent for him. Listen, Amos, you don't know politics like I do. You ain't regressive. What do you mean I ain't regressive? What do regressive mean? Well, you know what re mean, R-E. Oh, yeah, I know what re mean, all right. Well, grass like you grass something, then sieve like a sieve. There you is. Oh, yeah, that's different. Why didn't you say that in the first place? Well, that's just what you ain't. I know politics. I was going to do some stump speaking. I done smoke as many stumps as you is. I will be able to do some, too. Tell me this. Why can't they have a Democrat and a Republican president at the same time? Let who will be president one week and Al Smith be president the next week. He no use to have a lot of hard feelings. Amos, the president of the country, don't have nothing to do now. The trouble with that is, the Republican would get everything messed up for the Democrats and vice versa. And what? Vice versa. He ain't running, is he? Who ain't running? Vice versa. I didn't say vice versa. I said vice versa. Is he a Democrat or a Republican? Uh Uh-oh. Well, I don't know vice versa. You don't know nothing. Vice versa ain't no man. Well, what is he doing in the White House, then? He ain't in the White House. Boy, you is dumb. I ain't no dumber than you is. You is just as dumb as I is, though. Now, listen, Amos. I told you that if you put two presidents in there, they would mess up things for each other. Well, that would give them something to do. Try to straighten out each other. Uh, Tell me this. How how many votes do it take to elect a president? Well, one of them has got to have the majority, uh-huh. and the other one has got to have the plurality. Both 
of them was bad, ain't it? My grandpa had the pleasure, but I ain't never heard nobody having that other thing. Well, what is you going to be? Is you going to be a Democrat or a Republican? I was trying to find out which one of them is the best. Maybe if we change admirations, we have better luck. Then on the other hand, we have been eating up to now. Listen, Amos, the farm situation. You take the Hogan McDowry bill. Take it where? Take it anywhere. Well, what is I going to do with it? That is the question. It was vetoed. It was. And not only that, the farmers are so mad about the Hogan McDowry bill being vetoed that they is liable to elect the candidate for vice president, president. Well, what do Coolidge say about all this? He do not choose. Well, maybe his wife made him stop chewing. The thing we have got to do, Amos, is to make up our minds if we are going to be Republicans or be Democrats. I believe I'll be a good old Democrat. But I'm going to be Republican. You go ahead, be a Democrat. You is crazy. You is all right, ain't you? Certainly I was all right. Then I'm glad I 